Well, a hot topic for parents and students in the high school district lately has been Assembly Bill 1266, a state law passed eight years ago that in turn led to the expansion of rights for trans students on school campuses. And we want to navigate this law, ensure privacy for all of our students, irrespective of background. During the last several high school district board meetings, parents, religious leaders, and students voiced opposition to Assembly Bill 1266, which allows students use of locker rooms or bathrooms based on gender identity. I'm a freshman and I was just le leaving the classroom to use a restroom. I walked into the restroom and immediately put my head down because I knew that if I made eye contact with them and looked at them in the wrong way, <laughs> something was going to go down. Others in support of the law have called on the board to do more. I understand parents' concern with sexual assault in bathrooms, but I can say with an absolute certainty as a trans person, I'm more focused on my own body and how it looks than others. Friend High School District board member Jeff Flores says it's been this increase of attention to these issues before the board that has caused them to try to find a solution. Over time, when it first um, was passed, students weren't using uh, the law, but I think as time every year goes by, now more students are starting to use that law that allows them to, to go to their locker room of their choice. The new privacy room options include a semi-private changing area with a curtain, a shower-like area changing stall with a curtain, and a full solid partition with doors. Failure to comply with state or federal laws intended to protect specific individuals can expose the district to lawsuits alleging violations of civil rights. The ramifications of these types of lawsuits are broad and extremely damaging. Those who oppose AB 1260 say it's opening up school locker rooms and bathrooms to the potential for sexual assault. I'm a biological female and I'm uncomfortable using the girls' bathroom. Flores says he's hoping this expansion of privacy for all students will bring ease of mind to all parties involved while still complying with state law. I don't think we're going to change one's positions on the bill, but what we can change and appease are the privacy considerations on the bill's impact, you know, in the locker room. Now, the district board is still in the process of finalizing plans, but they expect to begin making changes in upgrading high school locker rooms within the next two months. Live in Southwest Bakersfield, I'm Veronica Morley, 23ABC, connecting you.